Looking for a steam engine to pull your vintage Minecraft trains? How about this one? This tutorial is for an LNER J52 or GNR J13 060 saddle tank engine. Let's get going. To make your J52 saddle tank engine, you will need the following. Six red concrete blocks, 13 grey terracotta, one grindstone, 24 nether brick stairs, four pistons, seven levers, one crimson fence, one piece of green carpet, 15 pieces of black carpet, 76 dark prismarine blocks, 18 dark prismarine stairs, 55 dark prismarine slabs, 8 blackstone stairs, 8 polished blackstone bricks, 4 polished blackstone brick stairs, 4 blackstone wall, 3 pieces of blackstone, 20 polished blackstone brick slabs, 5 blackstone slabs, one blast furnace, three crimson trapdoors, one lantern, one compass, one item frame, four iron bars, 18 iron trapdoors, and a waste block of your choice. Start by placing your waste block on top of your rail, and on top of that, place one, two, three red concrete. Remove the waste block. Behind it, from the middle block, place 13 grey or brown terracotta. One, two, three. And at the end, one, two, three red concrete. Okay, buffers next. At each end of the red concrete, pistons on their sides. And next to those levers, flip them down to pop the pistons out. There's your buffers. I got this from Crafty Fox. There is a link in the description to his channel. Do the same round the front of the engine. Now at the front between the two levers, a crimson fence and round the back between the two levers, a grindstone. These make our couplings. Now for the wheels. Starting at the front of the engine, you've got the buffers, leave a one block gap and on the next grey terracotta, a right way up near the brick stair under it, an upside down one, and behind it, two more. Yes, it makes a cross shape. Imagine it's round, that's our wheel. Leave a two block gap, make another wheel. Leave another two block gap and make a third wheel. And you should have a two block gap between the last wheel and the buffer. Do the same on the other side. That's our wheels, connecting rods next. Come to a front wheel. On this bottom upside down stair, place an iron trap door level with the top edge. Now we're gonna add eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that we end at this back upside down stair Again, level with the top. Do that on the other side. Next, using polished black stone brick slabs, we're going to start behind one of the buffers at the front and we're going to place 10 slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, next to this last one and facing towards the back, an upside down polished black stone brick stair so it should look like that and next to that facing the other way another one so we end up with this arrangement and as usual repeat that on the other side that's the undercarriage done let's move on to the body of the engine so we're leaving this strip with the red concrete alone coming to the first of the terracotta we're going to place a polished black stone brick block and next to that upside down a blackstone stair. Do that on the other side. Now one, two, three polished blackstone brick blocks and one on top. Blackstone stair, blackstone stair. So we should end up with this shape and in the middle we place a lever and flip it down. Now come around behind it and you can either repeat all of this exactly as it is 
or if you want these blocks that'll never be seen you can just replace with a filler like dirt. Now you want to fill this gap between the wheels and the buffer with a top half black stone slab. Now come to the top of our boiler and at the back in the middle one two black stone wall for a funnel. Now we're going to hide the body of the boiler so on top of this back stair of the front wheel one two three four five six seven dark prismarine blocks same on the other side you can fill in the gap in the middle with dark prismarine or if you want something a bit cheaper you could do it with dirt or you could just put some carpet inside to spawn proof it now we're going to make the saddle tanks so come to the back of this part of the boiler and either fill it with a cheap waste block or dark prismarine or just lay some carpet and now we're placing dark prismarine blocks right the way along seven of them again same on the other side on top of those dark prismarine stairs at the front behind the stairs that form the curve of the boiler two dark prismarine blocks and now you can either fill it with dirt or if you've laid carpet don't worry about it now working back from the funnel leave a one block gap and put a dark prismarine block leave a gap of two more and put another dark prismarine block now fill in all the rest of the space with dark prismarine slabs and on top of this first rise place a piece of green carpet and on top of the second a dark prismarine slab next we're going to work on the cab so coming to this last wheel on top of the polished blackstone brick slab a dark prismarine block build that up to a height of four so one two three four next to that two more and on top of that a dark prismarine stair next to that moving along a dark prismarine slab and then one two three four dark prismarine blocks let's repeat that around the other side and now we're going to put a roof on the cab made entirely of dark prismarine slabs now for the tender on top of the red concrete and the buffers we're going to place dark prismarine blocks we're going to do that to a height of two then dark prismarine stairs at either end now instead of dark prismarine we're going to put one two three black stone blocks between the stairs and on top of them black stone slabs and now next to the black stone blocks one two three crimson trap doors fold them up let's make the inside of the cab this wall let's cover it up dark prismarine blocks one two three four five six seven eight in the gap we're placing a blast furnace right in the middle now one two three dark prismarine blocks along the front and now this in the middle we're going to place a dark prismarine block we're going to face our tender one two three one two three along the top and one in the middle one in the middle at the top and we're going to fill the gap with blackstone walls and then one two three slabs in the middle if you don't like seeing the coal at the top feel free to put prismarine slabs in I actually like the windows being a little bit bigger now an item frame above the blast furnace a compass in the item frame that's our pressure gauge and a lever either side of the blast furnace hang a lamp in the cab above the pressure gauge and that's the cab done but we're not quite finished there's a couple more things to go wheel arches so we're coming above the middle wheel and one two dark prismarine slabs same above the front wheel and we're filling the gaps with black carpet same on the other side wheel arches fill the gaps with black carpet and then put black carpet right the way around the front last but not least iron bars either side of the cab opening place one 
two. Do the same around the other side. These are safety railings. And there we have it, one J52 060 saddle tank engine.